Hello Mavericks, this is Mrs. Hampton. I am so excited to see all of you here today. Um, today is super exciting. We are starting a brand new unit and this unit is going to have us counting and adding and subtracting all the way up to 1000. So today's kind of this basic re review to get us started and we're going to be starting, we're going to be counting by hundreds and we're going to be kind of reviewing that way to represent. Um, 100s and moving from hundreds to the next hundred. So let's go ahead and begin. How do I yeah. All right. Okay. So we don't have a partner with us here today, but I want you to think right now, um, just to kind of get your brain warmed up, and we're going to be moving, like I said, not just decade numbers, but hundred numbers. So real quick, let's just refresh our brain. How can you look at this number eight plus six? How can you quickly use the strategy to make it 10? How can you quickly do that? What would that look like for you? Yeah, if you're noticing that you can add, you can take your eight, whoop, Next marker, you can take your eight plus your six, and you see quickly that all you have to do to make a 10 from here is take six away, right? So you would quickly say eight and two is 10. So really now we have 10 plus four, okay, which is easy to add. Once you get to that decade number, it's easy to add, do mental math, right? So we can see very easily eight plus six is 14 by using that strategy to make a 10. All right, so our brains are nice and warmed up. You may have done it a different way too. You may have taken four away from eight, which would give you 10 plus four, um, which is another way to quickly make that, um, make a 10. All right, team, so today, um, go ahead and get your learning target up. I can count to 1,000 and represent three-digit numbers. On two, one, two. I can count to 1,000 and represent three-digit numbers. Boo! Okay, so we're going to kind of break it up today into three separate parts. The first one, we're going to do a little bit of a review. We're going to count to 1,000 by hundreds, and we're going to also use um, a trusty dollar bills to do a little bit of that um, counting. After that, we're just going to review how do we represent three-digit numbers with boxes, sticks, and circles. And then finally, we're going to use those boxes, sticks, and circles. And we are going to count from a three-digit number into the next hundred. So we're just going to um, start out kind of slow today. You'll know if you are doing your workbook, you don't actually have um, workbook pages to do, okay? If you have your workbook, um, you'll see from the things that I cut up for us today, but we would be on page 257 and 259. Both of them have just some things that you can kind of cut out um, and use, which is you'll see the things that I did today that we will cut out and use. And then if you are on the homework and remembering book, um, I'll talk a little bit about that at the end, but you guys are on page um, 157 and then the back is just the review. Um, let's get our brains even more warmed up and let's have a fun counting by 100s to 1,000 song. Action. Five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Feel free to sing along. Ah, oh yeah, donuts. Get us to a thousand. One hundred. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 
Go ahead and dance if you want. I know I am. 200, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Woo! Great song. Love this song. All right, team. Wow, I feel warmed up. Hope you feel warmed up. All right, here we go. So, hope you sang and danced to that song. If you didn't, you can always go back, of course. All right, so like I said, we are going to start off. I'm going to hide my face so you can actually see some of the cool things that we're going to do. We are going to first look at, I take it back, you know how we always like to add a few days of dollars, right? So we're going to think about hundreds in terms of dollar bills to kind of get us started today. So let's go ahead. All right, cool. Okay, so like I said, on that one, on the workbook page, if that is what you have today, then this is what your stuff is going to look like. All right, so you should have these dollar bills. And as a quick review, I want to see if anyone can help me to remember, because I forgot, how many cents are in a dollar? Can anyone remember? Yes. There are 100 pennies in every single dollar. And the, the backs of these dollar bills can actually help you with that, because you can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 100 pennies in every single dollar. So we can do a quick check too. We can say if this one has 100. Does this one have 100? Yeah. You can pause the um, your video if you want, and you can go through and count by tens if you want to make sure that Miss Hampton isn't trying to pull a fast one on you, because I know sometimes I will do that, right? So here's another one. Here's another dollar bill, and you can see that there are 10 rolls of 10 pennies, which is going to give you, that's right, 100 Mavericks. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, my goodness. Back at you. 100 cents. Okay, so you can quickly check each of these. So when you're looking at all of these dollar bills, you can see that each one dollar bill is made of 100 pennies. Okay, so right now, how many dollar bills do we have in my stack? So let's go ahead and go back. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten one dollar bills. And if we have 100 pennies in each, let's use these and we are no, now going to count by 100 and count out how many hundred, how many pennies we have in ten dollar bills. So we're going to take turn our penny side up and we're going to go ahead and count. I want you to count with me. All right. So this should say 100. Next, I want you to say 200. 
hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. Nine hundred. Ten hundred. Now I want you to know that ten hundreds is actually called one thousand. And as we just saw, one thousand, I'm not cool enough to write them all as little donuts, but one thousand looks like this. Okay, so you know that one dollar is the same as 100 pennies. And you know that $10 is the same as 1,000 pennies. All right. So next what I want you to do, actually I'm gonna write these out for you. Okay, so if you have a scrap piece of paper, anything that you're using to write today, let's just practice writing our hundreds right now just so we can kind of get our brain warmed up. It's good practice. We've read it, we've seen it, and now we are going to write it. So you can choose any, a pencil, a crayon, a marker, whatever you want, and we're just going to write it. We're going to have this as a little resource um, as we move along in our lesson today. So we're going to have 100, 200. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, aka 1000. All right, so if you go back to what we had said that we were going to talk about today, um, we know that we are going to be going and we're going to be making, we're going to be representing three digit numbers with boxes, 10 sticks and circles. So right now we're going to do a little bit of that together. So just as a review, I have some questions on the screen for you. I want you to just answer and think aloud, um, or, or even say out loud. And I want you to, all right. Say it. So right now, what symbol do you use to show that you have one? Yes, you do a circle. We use circles um, in math expressions to represent that one. What do you use to show that you have a 10? Go ahead and answer out loud. Think out loud. Absolutely. Yes, you use a 10 stick, right? So, and then finally, what symbol do we use to show that we have a 100? That's correct, Mavericks. You use a box, right? You use a big square. So I have some activities that we're going to be doing. Um, again, find whatever it is that you want to use and write on today. And a lot of this is going to be more interactive um, than it is as far as working on in a math workbook. All right, so the first one um, number that I want you to represent, and I'm going to go ahead and just use different um, colors for mine today just because that might be easier as you kind of are thinking about it. So I'm going to use a pink for my hundreds, my M, um, blocks. I'm going to use a blue for my 10 sticks, and I'm going to use a brown for my one. So go ahead and let's do some of these together. So we said um, the first one I wanted you to do is 148. I should probably write these down so I don't forget the ones I'm going to ask you to do. 148, 429, 148, 429, 519. Cool. Okay. So let's do these together. All right. So when we're working on our 10, 6, and 1, if we are going to represent the number 148, and I want you to use 10, 6, and 1s to represent this number. Um, go ahead and do your 100 first. So how many 100s do we have? In the 100s place, we have 1. 
So that should look like one box, 100. And then what number do we have in the tens place? Yes, that's correct. We have a four in the tens place, which tells us that that's 40, which tells us that that means we need four 10 sticks, 10, 20, 30, 40. So right now I'm, re I'm representing 140. And the last thing I want to do is my ones to show eight. Now, just as a reminder, right? And you can see this even on our um, dollar bills that we used it is best practice so that it's easiest for you to count to group not only in terms of 10 stick, 10 ones, you know, 10, look, 10 ones in a line, but also to kind of group in five. So it's easy to see where you're making five. So I'm going to go, if I have eight in the ones place, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And if you went and took these three and you put them over here, that's cool too. I just did um, mine just, and maybe I can do a few more things on the right over here. Okay, so I have 148 and that is how you would represent those numbers. So it's just pretty fun, right? To be able to um, take a look and we can see it just helps you with that place value idea. Um, and then as you start to do more adding, this is a great tool for you. Um, if you are more of a visual learner and you kind of like to um, have these drawings to see the way that you're making new tens, you're making new hundreds, okay? So the next number that we are going to do here together today is 429. Now, before we begin, I want to ask you, what number is in the tens place? Tens place. That is correct. I have two in the tens place. How about what number is in the ones place again bingo a nine is in the ones place which tells me i have nine ones and lastly you can already guess what i'm going to ask you what number is in the hundreds place yeah four okay so this is especially when we we're going to in a um, couple days here we're going to be comparing um numbers and this idea of really understanding hundreds tens and ones um, and understanding these place values this is going to help you to be able to um, be successful when you're looking at and comparing numbers all right so we are going to do 400 so we have 100 200 300 400 all right so i have four 100 blocks okay next i we said i had two in the tens place, which means I have 20, which is represented by two 10 sticks, 10, 20. And lastly, I had nine ones because the nine is in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. Okay, so it should just look exactly like that. The last one that I wanted to have you do is I want you to show me 519. Now this time I want you to do exactly what we just did above, but I want you to pause me first so that I want you to attempt this on your own. If you're using different color um, crayons or markers or whatever to represent, that's awesome. Um, if you're just using a pencil to represent, that's awesome as well. Okay, but I want you to do this last part on your own and then you're gonna come back and we'll do it together. All right, Mavericks, here we go. So if you did this on your own, you would show right now that you had 500 blocks. Five hundred blocks to represent that 500, okay? And you can see in this one, it's 519 is the number. So we know that 19 only has 110. And lastly, your, oh, sorry, and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. All right, so this is that review. If you want to test yourself or you want to have someone test you, a good exercise, if you want to do
if you want to go ahead and practice and fin um, with these re drawing representations, this is awesome practice. Again, this is going to help you um, to be even more successful as we get into comparing these numbers and um, adding and subtracting them. So if you want to go ahead and get started right here, you can represent, do the drawings, um, the 100 blocks, the 10 sticks, and the 1s to represent these numbers. All right, Mavericks. So the last thing that I had... Um, Part of our lesson today was really looking at um, at counting. Once you're able to make these drawings, using these drawings to count um, over the hundreds. Okay, so what I mean by that is if you have this number, 190. Now we're going to pretend that we, I have represented this number. Um, with 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you can see I have a nice little space here, 60, 70, 80, 90. So right here I have this number 190. But what I want to do is I want to go back to that learning target area, and I said we are going to be repre um, making representation, representative drawings, allowing us and showing us how to count over 190. So today all I want us to do is I want you to count from 190 all the way up to 200. So right here, we already know we have 190. Okay, and then I'm gonna say 100, if I add one with my, actually I should keep that little same thing. Huh? If I add one, I'm gonna have 191. Let's add another one, 192. Another one, 193, 190. Four, one hundred ninety five, one hundred ninety six, one hundred ninety. Whoop! Got to hold them ahead of myself. Ninety seven, one hundred ninety eight, one hundred ninety. Nine, two hundred. Now, Mavericks, what do I do now? Because this is really confusing. I just added how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that tells me if I add ten ones to one hundred and ninety, then I counted all the way up to two hundred. But we said earlier, what do we use to represent tens? We use ten sticks. So we know that we are going to turn this into what? Yes, exactly, a ten stick. It's a long ten stick because I wrote out all of the numbers, but that is now a new ten. So now I have 190, let's count by tens. Or I'm saying 190, and we're going to um, start with 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. But team, we see now that we just made a new 100. And what did we say a few minutes ago? When you make a new 100, you represent that with a box. So when you are counting, we can see that when we go up to that new hundred, we have made a new hundred. So by adding these 10 ones, that took us from 190 to 200. All right. So now, I'm going to skip ahead here. So I have this on here. Um, I wanted to do a few more things together. So right now we have 200. But what happens if we add 210 to this 200? So I'm going to start with a new sheet here. Okay, and I'm going to pretend that we just counted to 200. So now we know that we are representing that 200. Okay, and we're going to add, we're going to keep counting. 
Okay, so we're going to go 200, 201, 202, 203, 200, whoops, 4, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. Oh, and what happens when we make a new 10, right? That's right. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 ones now give us a new 10 stick. So we had up here earlier, we had 200 is what we started off with, right? And now we have 200 and 210. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. And we're going to just do it one more time because I just want you to see that pattern, right? If you add, let's count, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220. We've made a new 10. You turn it into that 10 stick, and now we have 200, 20. Okay, so you can keep going, right? And you can continue adding and counting. You can even go all the way up and make a new 100 if you want to challenge yourself today. Okay, this is a great way to visually represent um, your numbers. So Mavericks, before we go today, I just want to um, help you to remember, right? Um, we're just going to use these. Okay. Um, I want to count to 1,000 with you one more time, but we're going to do it in two different ways, okay? We're going to do it with our pennies, and we're going to do it with our numbers, okay? It's very important um, that you feel very comfortable with this piece. I don't know where my hundred went, so we're going to go to, let's see, let's see, 100, pretend there's a 100, <laughs> 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000 better known as 1,000. All right, Mavericks. So I am going to um, release you. Um, like I said, if you can, um, if you have your math workbook, a lot of it is just a lot of the continuing with the drawings and extensions that we did together here as a team today. Um, like I said, if you want to continue making drawings up to that next 300, that would be awesome. If you feel like you completely get this and you are ready to move on, then you should be all good. Um, I would love to challenge you in, of course, in Google Classroom right now. We have some awesome extensions. If this is feeling um, pretty easy for you, if this is feeling like this is great, I'm super excited because there's something new I get to learn, then that is perfect as well. Um, then I want you working on the math workbook pages. Additionally, if you look at your, um, if you're working out of the homework and remembering book, remember we are on page 157, and this is just the um, pages that go along with the activity that we just did today. So you can see, right, all you're looking at is you're counting the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, and then you're writing the whole total. Okay, so for example, how many hundreds do we have? One, so you would say 100, right? How many tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we know that 90 is actually just nine tens. 
And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ones. Same thing we did. Put that together. Our total is 198. Okay, so a lot of it um, up here is you're using those tools to do your numbers. Down here, you're going to use um, the numbers that are already done for you to draw your own boxes, sticks, and ones. All right, Mavericks, it was amazing to be with you today. I hope you had fun. Um, if you want to go back and jam to that Count by 100 songs, then just know that I am doing the exact same thing. And I wish you all happy counting. Thanks so much.